Good morning. I'm here today with Mr. Lenny Rando. With over 22 years as a professional baseball player, Lenny also was the first African American with a full ride scholarship out of Arizona State. Lenny was also once named the most interesting man in baseball. Lenny, you have multiple hits on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok. How do you feel about all the videos that are being exploited out there? What I'd like to do is meet the 1.7 million people that are watching the, the bunt video. I'd like to meet the 1.7 to 5 million people watching the, the brawl in Cleveland and Texas and the Bunny Billy Martin excitement of baseball when, when he should be in a Hall of Famer. I like the fact that Ted Williams was our guru and mentor and a great veteran pilot, God bless his soul and all the uh, soldiers that I had as managers, you know, DiMaggio, Yogi Berra, Roy Campanella. Right now we're trying to get Maury Wills and Billy Martin in the Hall of Fame. So I'm going to tell all that story about why I am who I am and why Bobby Winkles got me out of high school as a baseball player and Frank Bush got me out of high school with Wayne Simpson, the number one pick in the country, in the world, uh, to, for the Reds to go to tour with Tom Seaver at USC and Dave Kingman and Rod Dato and Bubba Smith and Mike Garrett. Those legendary names, O.J. Simpson, they were recruiting us out of high school to go to their schools, their colleges. And I ended up going to Arizona State because of Frank Cush. Frank Cush, coal miner, Aliquippa, PA, made us who we are. We did the bump and run when it was legal, like Dion, back in the day, when our football and a man was a man, and we played the game like military style. That's why Yogi was the way he was. That's why Jackie and Willie Mays were the way they were. So that rubbed off on me and my seven uncles who fought in Italy and fought in Korea. So all those games that we played, we took it military style. We're gonna take that hill. We're gonna do whatever it takes to win. Get hit by a ball, brawl, fun, and we did it for the fans. The roll, 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 roll. Lenny Randall gets down in his hands and knees and blows on it like a curler. Lenny, Rolling Stone Magazine once named you the most interesting player in Major League Baseball. Tell us what makes you interesting. It, it was kind of funny uh, to hear that I was the most interesting man in baseball by Dan Epstein with Rolling Stone Magazine. He did a story uh, first about my album. I had a record album. He's a record follower. The Rolling Stones, the, the, the Mick Jagger, the, the Phil Collins. He followed all music from Chuck Chuck Berry to the Beatles. So he says, Lenny, your record is selling at $100 a pop. I go, what? He goes, yeah, I've, I just collected your record from France. They have it online on Instagram. These guys are playing your record. He says, can I get a copy? I go, yeah, you want, you know, ball player in Kingdom they were selling for a voice communicator, $20,000 to get him a, a Stevie Wonder type voice communicator, David Finnegan. He was a 12-year-old kid, couldn't walk, so he's in a wheelchair, coming to all the Mariner practices. So we made a record, Dad Bosley, who's like Brian McKnight, did a record for him to have the proceeds with Julio Cruz, Dave Henderson, and I have all those pictures and the shows that we did for that kid to get him there, and the Atlanta children who were being kidnapped and, uh, and built up their, their church. So we had a purpose, no one just about the music and the record, we had fun with it. So we did it during the strike because we were idle. So once we finished it, Dan goes, you're the most interesting man in baseball because you do stuff out of the box. How do you get 10 players to go on stage and sing? I go, well, Ernie Banks sang. He told me, so I said, Maury Will sang. I said, Don Drysdale and Koufax sang. I'm from LA. Every player I know, Rosie Greer had a record out. He sang, good or bad. It's, it's so, I don't know if people are interested in Rosie Greer or Pam Greer, his, his sister, but she was on the cover. So you either watched her, or you listened to his music, or you did both. So creatively, I said, I think outside the box. I don't think about just playing. Every time I get the box to hit, I pick the record with the organist and say, play, you are the sunshine of my life, Stevie Wonder, before I get in the box. So I can feel good when I get ready to get my double, or my single, or my triple. I was into music. Our family thought we were the Jackson Five. So we were a little confused. So we were into music and sports. So the reason why they called me interesting because I did an album while I was playing and I did a lot of things off the field. 
and my teammates would follow me and go, you're a lot of fun, dude. I'm rolling with you. Where are we going? We're going to catch a ride in store in New York. Tom Brokaw's there, and a, 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 Mar a Mariah Carey and Ira Carey. And I said, okay, they're gonna be in the, and I said, Lionel Richie gonna be there? If he's not, I got Al Collins. He looks just like Lionel Richie, and he'll be one of the ball players in Julio Cruz. I had everybody dance, everybody got checked. Everybody got checked. <laughs> so I did a lot of interesting, and I did stand-up comedy. I did it with the Baluchis in Chicago. I earned it, Banks. I, I was around people that were creatively productive on the field and off the field. And some teams couldn't handle that genre. I saw a lot of players singing when coming up through, through the major league level. So I guess that was the most interesting thing in baseball. And the album is still selling, 100,000 copies. Now people want it. We're going to reintroduce it to Amazon Records. And people will be hearing American Worker.